Hello, today I want to show you a new component that I made uh, for our game Plane Shift and uh, I built it in a separate project because I wanted to be sure that it's um, faster you know, for me to prototype but then I will integrate it. You can see it's creating basically a game board and it's allowing you to place pieces on the game board but it's also um, managing the uh, drag and drop function of the pieces and is already managing the movement and also the drag and drop in case outside of the windows and such so that um, you know the, the, the board is consistent. Also this board is configurable so you can decide the sides and the tiles of the board and also you have a very simple system at the moment to just uh, you know overlap uh, the tiles. Uh, there is no consistency in the rules so you can do something that obviously is not allowed in chess like this so it's not enforcing any rule it's just allowing you to move the pieces you can put the rules uh, in your own uh, uh, in your own game. So uh, the way to create uh, the project is very simple you just create a new third person project and then you take the zip file that you find in our Patreon and you just uh, uh, extract it in the project. It's important that you call the project mouse click, exactly like you see here. I think that's, uh, that's relevant so that you don't get any uh, naming uh, thing, problems. And uh, uh, the project is all made in um, C++, so there is basically no uh, blueprints. There is only the setup board that is in the blueprint. And I think it is good because it shows how to create uh, custom user widgets and how to create, uh, um, how to connect the user widget to the blueprints. So you have a game tile, a board definitions and game board uh, and the drag and drop operations. You can find those classes here under C++ classes. So game board, game tile, uh, drag icon and drag and drop operation. Um, you can change the game board uh, uh, atlas, so at the moment uh, the pieces are all together in, a, in an atlas, which I think is always the best uh, way. Plus I also have the two uh, bottom, uh, say background uh, uh, tile colors, so the black one and the white one, they get composed on the board. Uh, you can change obviously all of this and make the board that you want. Uh, then on the game board, uh, you can decide the setup of your board. At the moment, the parameters that I have here are uh, very simple. Uh, there is row uh, and column size, so at the moment it's 8x8. Eight eight. And um, well, the music is too loud. Um, and um, you can define also how the, the board looks. So if you want to change the board, for example, here I have another example. Um, you can just change the definition and you change it here through the blueprint. So you make it, for example, like this, and then you just run it again, and you will see that now the board is completely different, right? So uh, the board allows also empty spaces. Uh, if you want to create a special, special kind of board, and allows, uh, uh, as usual, the the movement, uh, the movement of the pieces and the overlap. Right. Um, same technique. If you try to drag out or drag to an invalid space, you're just uh, um, undoing the move. Right. Okay. So this is what I wanted to show you. I think I will put it in our uh, Patreon uh, uh, site. And there are many other components that I developed. And you can get with the lowest tiers. Um, so you can um, you can go there if you want and support our project. Our project is a, a free MMO uh, that we make for fun since many years. And uh, if you want, you can also try the game. The game is now is now released. Okay, with that, I think that I'm gonna close the video. So thank you for uh, thank you for watching, and um, I will see you uh, in game. Bye.